My name is Rick, and in this video, we'll be talking about how to install the Canon T3i EOS tools. So let's get into it. I have provided a link for you below this video where you can go over to my blog and you can find the written instructions for this video. But for those of us that are visuals, we're going to go ahead and, and walk through this entire process on this video. So again, the link is below this video that you can go ahead and click on to go over to my blog. You will end up here on this page, which is the Canon T3i EOS Utility 2 Download for OS X. This is the official download for the EOS Utility number 2 that is being used as a mirror for the original download. So if you don't want to use this download, that is perfectly fine. You can go over to Canon.com and this will take you to the Canon website and what you want to do is you want to click on software and what you want is you want EOS Digital Solutions Disk Software for Mac OS systems bundled CD and you want to click select and you want to read the agreements and you want to click download and then you need the serial number in order to get this download so if for, for those of you that just don't want to look at your camera to get the serial number you can just go ahead and use this mirror download that I provided for you guys so once you click on this download this will go ahead and start the download for you and it should take uh, about two minutes to download so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this download and I'll be right back I have a download file that's called solution disk or if you got it from the can website it might be named a little bit differently so what you want to do is you want to double click that DMG file and this will bring you up the installer. You want to double click that installer and click open. And this is going to take its time to go ahead and extract some files. And I'm in the US, I'm in the United States. And right here you have two options, easy installation or custom installation. But since I already know beforehand what I want to install on this Mac, I don't want to do the easy installation because that will go ahead and install all the software. And I don't necessarily need the entire software suite that they provide for you. So I'm going to go ahead and use custom installation. And I'm going to click OK. And what I want is I don't want any of these uh, software options that they provide for you. I just want this EOS Utility 2, which will allow us to transfer pictures from our camera over to our computer, uh, control our camera from the EOS Utilities number 2. So you can do things like preview, um, this type of deal. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and click on next. And I'm going to click actually back because I missed one. And install. And I agree. Enter my password. And this is going to go ahead and install the software. And I'm going to click next. I do not want to register. And it's going to say to register later. You need to return to the website. That's fine. Okay. Installation is not complete. So I'm going to click finished, close this out. Open the software is by going to spotlight on your Mac and opening up EOS utility number two. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this goes ahead and opens up the software application. So now you want to go ahead and connect your camera with a power cable. I'm not a power cable, a USB cable into your computer. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camera now. So I went ahead and turned the camera on and you should have the option of camera settings, remote shooting. And this should go ahead and open up this uh, little Rebel T3i control panel. And you can do different things here, like you can do live preview and this will go ahead and show you live preview. As you can see, here's a little pre live preview, here's my keyboard. And the live preview lets you do various things here with your, with your camera. For example, you can change the white balance. Um, that you have on your, on your, on your camera itself, or you can also control the focus. If you double click anywhere on area, this will go ahead and automatic, do the automatic focus. If you have it turned on in your lens, which I did not, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. And it's having a really hard time to focus on my hand, but yeah, I'm going to try one more time to focus on that hand. Awesome. So that goes ahead and focuses on that hand. And that's pretty much all there is. There's, again, a bunch of different tools that you can go through here and, and play around with and kind of figure out what you want to do with your, with your camera. So that's pretty much all there is to installing the Canon EOS uh, utility number two on your Mac. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and, and you should share it on your social medias. That will really help me out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.